In this video, I'm gonna explain how I installed this draft excluder for my Hero Camper Ranger. Hopefully be a little bit warmer in the awning, especially if I've got to sleep here for a little while. Okay, so this is not so much a how-to video, just showing you kind of what I did and the process to install a draft excluder on the lower part of my Hero Camper. So I'm just about to go out and do it, but it's raining, so I won't be videoing it uh, in all the detail, but basically what this Quest draft excluder here, it's got pockets on it, but that may not actually work for um, the Hero, obviously because it's smaller. I've got this... Uh, Sikaflex 221, which is meant for caravans and everything. I've got it in black, just because it will blend in a little bit more um, with the black under trim, even though you shouldn't be able to see it. And then I bought four lengths of this um, seat trail, or whatever you call it, um, 1.2 meter lengths, four of them. And they have got some sticky back plastic on the back, which uh, or sticky tape, you can use to apply and then drill holes or rivet but I'm not going to use that, I'm basically going to run uh, the Sikaflex along the end and then kind of position it. I've used the Sikaflex stuff before to attach boards to cars and things and they don't come off. And again, there's not very much weight on this because obviously it's not, um, yes there will be some wind, but um, it's kind of static. So this video is basically a little kind of montage showing you kind of my process and then uh, hopefully it might help you if you decide to install something similar the, the approach i took and, and why i did what i did Okay, so it's now the next day. So it's been, I think about 24 hours since I originally added the sail track or the sea track or whatever it's called. So I'm now going to have a look at the mounting to, to see how the draft excluder goes. But I thought I'd show you what it looks like before I do that. So I just pop the awning up. So as due to the shape of the teardrop, and the awning comes down here. And so the curve, kind of goes round so there will be a little bit here in the corner that doesn't have the draft exclusion I think and then on the back it's probably actually going to be fine where it comes down but I'll show you what it looks like so just here you can hopefully see what the end result looks like so it's like that all the way down in different sections it's nice and thoroughly put on I wasn't sure how I was going to do the bit that goes across the back here so in the end what I decided to do is the plan is it's going to come out of the end here travel all the way along and then just tap in at the back here where I've put a little bit more where it can finish so that's the plan let's uh Roll around on the floor and install it and see if it's any good.
obviously when we're actually camping we would be more level as in I would put effort into making sure we're more level but this seems to work pretty good um, first time doing this obviously we're having to channel this draft excluder thing through that channel um, and it is kind of pulling off some of the, the plastic to kind of streamline its process once it's been in and out a couple of times should be a lot easier but yeah so far I think this will have done the job so I'm just gonna try the bit around the back and uh, see how we get on okay so the plan pretty much works I've got to be careful um, with the plastic here because it isn't super strong so I may have to look at if there's something else I do to help but it's only just for a little bit of draft exclusion so I think once clamped down this will work quite well also we have the zip compartment in here I'll just keep anything here in the kitchen area and then I will just cut off the uh, extra so uh, yeah not a bad job so one thing I might do is when I take the draft extruder off is just run it all through on his off cuts just to kind of get rid of any of the plastic snagging and things which will make hopefully the installation easier um, I think I'm probably not going to cut it until after we've had our first trip just so I know if that rear bit's going to work properly or not um, and then I can adjust and cut things around accordingly as needed but not a bad end result I don't think <laughs> 